Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Rwana. Today is the 1st of October 2020. We're going to reflect on Luke 10, 1 to 12. Listen. After this, the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say peace to this house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the laborer deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick who are there and say to them, The kingdom of heaven has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not welcome you, go out into its streets and say, Even the dust of your town that clings to our feet we wipe off in protest against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God has come near. I tell you, on that day it will be more tolerable for Sodom than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. We often believe, and I really can't understand why, that Jesus trained only 12 men to be his missionaries. However, from this passage it is obvious that he had trained at least another 72, and he sent them out to preach the good news of salvation. Now God has called all of us who believe in his son Jesus to, please be no doubt about this, He's called all of us to proclaim the gospel. Consequently, we would do well to pay heed to his method and his instructions to the 72 here. First, Jesus sends them out in pairs. There are, of course, many reasons for this. One is support. Scripture says that two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. It is also for protection, though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. This isn't physical defense scripture is talking about, it is spiritual defense. It can get pretty rough after you've had a preaching session, and the prayer support of a friend can smooth things quite a bit. Second, Jesus says that he's sending them out like lambs among wolves. The world is pretty predatory, but you don't need me to tell you that. In Jesus' time, it was far more dangerous, and believers were often killed for their faith, even when they weren't sharing it with others. They went to their deaths willingly. Today, Christians are largely afraid to visibly demonstrate their faith in Christ, but that really needs to change, and we would do well to note Jesus' words. Whoever acknowledges me before others, I will also acknowledge before my Father in heaven. Third, Jesus gives them the same advice he gave the twelve when he sent them out. Don't carry more than the bare minimum. They were to trust in God for their every need. Again, we have a scriptural promise as Paul says, And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. I don't know what this says about evangelists who fly in private jets with entourages like movie stars, but I figure they'll explain their reasons to Jesus when they meet him. Finally, Jesus tells them to bless the houses and towns that welcome them. But whenever they weren't welcomed, they were to shake the dust off their feet as they left. Now for the life of me, I can't imagine how you do this, but I always picture the disciples standing at the edge of a town, turning around, taking their footwear off and slapping them together. If we start doing this today, imagine we'd be doing a lot of slipper slapping. But you never know. We might save a whole lot of towns that need saving. So what do you say? Shall we get going? Don't know how to start? Join one of our schools of discipleship and we will help you. Now before you go, may I request you to subscribe to this channel. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button below and the bell icon alongside and also please do share these reflections with those you know. Thank you very much. God bless you.